guys, Barb with Inspire Me 360. I just wanted to make a couple videos about the Divine Counterpart, the Twin Flame Journey, just to kind of demystify this a little bit. If you are feeling like this is something that resonates with you, wonderful. If this makes absolutely no sense to you, this video, then there's a reason for that. It will only make sense to somebody that has this internal knowing and you know you know that you're here on um, this divine counterpart twin flame journey. So I'm gonna start out with a few of my notes here. So I wanna talk about intuition. In terms of your soul's purpose for incarnating on earth, it's always going to be about learning. You're always here to learn. That's what the creator and what creation is continually doing. It is learning the nature of its beingness. It is learning about itself. It's learning about love. It's learning about creation. It's learning about the experience of the expansion and the experience of creation. And so in terms of the twin flame journey, I find that um, term a little bit annoying. I mean, it seems very um, new agey and it also seems like, you know, I don't know, like fictitious. So I don't love the term, but because it's so um, universally understood, I'm gonna learn, I'm gonna utilize it in terms of teaching these principles. Okay, so first of all, you would have been, if you are on a twin flame journey, 100%, you are going to have been born with a knowing that you are kind of searching for something. And it's like, I don't want to say that it's a missing piece because we are all whole, so it's not really a missing piece. It's the the search for the exact um, reflection of yourself. So we all have a unique soul signature, or a, it's basically a frequency that is unique to each individual soul, and we all have this. Okay, when we're created. When the creator creates us we are a spark of divine light and essentially what happens is that we be, we start our learning journey now there's going to be so many different incarnations that a soul essence goes through and the learning takes billions of years but specifically in terms of understanding the twin flame journey or the nature of duality and the masculine feminine principle. I want to make sure that I explain this really well so that it makes sense. So again, at the instant of a soul's creation, because we are existing in a universe of duality, there is a secondary split from that core soul frequency into the facet of duality. So there becomes a divine, a divine counterpart. There is a masculine and a feminine. Just like everything within this universe is based in duality. You know, we have light, we have dark, we have hot, we have cold, we have positive, negative, polarity. Everything is duality. This is the same for your soul. Your soul has a dualistic aspect to it. So again, it can express in any form. So you can have you know, two men where one counterpart is the feminine counterpart and one is the masculine counterpart or two women where, you know, one of the counterparts is very, very masculine and one is very, very feminine or existing in that polarity. Now, I want to also explain that just like the yin and the yang symbol, there is some of the other in each. So each each entity that is incarnated, because again, we are incarnated into a body, into a form. When I talk about divine counterparts, you're going to have potentially, and here's where I say potentially, if you've incarnated in the same lifetime with your divine counterpart, you are both going to be in different bodies. So hopefully that portion makes sense. So now that we've established that, okay, there's going to be two bodies that are incarnated, they could look 
you know, it, who knows what they're going to look like, right? And so, again, you have to understand that because there is a division, there's still elements of the masculine in the feminine and the feminine in the masculine. And it's all about balance and it's all about raising your vibration and ascending to the highest expression of vibration that can exist within this three dim third dimension. Because again, when your vibration gets to a high enough calibration, you actually physically can't exist in a dense three dimensional body. So I don't want you to think that like at the end of this incarnation, that in this incarnation, that's all there is. That's not at all what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that, you know, when we look at the ascended masters, Buddha, Jesus, you know, Krishna, those that were able to basically resurrect into a light body, um, that's, you know, the functionality of that was simply because, again, their calibration of the light love um, principle or frequency made it so that their every every aspect of them the the three-dimensional body was vibrating at such a high level it, that it no longer needed a dense body vehicle and also thusly could not exist in this dense material state so it's nothing to be scared about i mean it's just basically it's transformation so when you get to a certain vibrational state you transform into something else everything is always in flux everything is always moving at any given moment in time well i mean time technically doesn't exist because everything is happening in the now but we perceive linear time while we're here on earth okay so again in terms of what has guided you towards this video or why you might be watching uh, this video you in terms of if some person in your life is your divine counterpart your twin flame I would worry less about that and more about your own journey what matters is if you are on this this path of you know seeking enlightenment spirituality and this this quest for a divine counterpart you will know it you will be born with it it's not very typical that you would just wake up in your 30s or 40s and think okay now i need to find a twin flame um, myself i've known this from birth and i've always understood that this was part of my journey. I may not have always been able to conceptualize it or put it into words, but there's always been that intuitive knowing. So again, um, one of these things that you have to think about and find peace with in your journey. Um, the other thing that is important to understand about love, its frequency, the frequency of unconditional love, is that it can't be explained. It's not going to be something that you would typically find necessarily in a Hollywood romance. It's not gonna play out exactly like that. Um, there, is, there is something about the bond itself or when you, you know, reach that equilibrium within yourself where you start to magnetize oneself if you are of it. It's of a higher dimension, it's of a higher realm, it's just this pure energy that breaks down all barriers, all borders, all obstacles, and it just is itself. It's just expressing as love. The next thing I want to talk about is that when you are on your path, you know, your twin flame journey, it's not something you can look for. So you can't go on a dating app or you can't like force it. You can't, it will never come to you that way. God, source, spirit is in charge of orchestrating it. Or another way to put it is the quantum field is what is orchestrating your magnetism to your divine counterpart. It, it's when, you know, and again, I'm not saying it's necessarily going to come when 
you're at an all-time high sometimes it's going to come when you're at your lowest low and it just sort of um is there it is to assist you with the ascension process the awakening process and really force you to start to magnify any distortions that you have left within your own mind your being your actions all of these different things so you definitely again need to trust the process and you need to trust that the universe is always readjusting for your highest purpose and then you kind of have to let it go you can't force it you can't pull on it you can't push it into a corner this is this is like the highest expression of love it just is and so that is what again what you need to have faith in having faith in the fact that source spirit god whatever you call it knows what it's doing the quantum field knows what it's doing okay um so again i did speak a little bit about the fact that if you're a twin fin twin flame you're gonna know it you're, you're you're absolutely with every fiber of your being know that you are meant to find something and you arranged this before your incarnation so this was something that both counterparts in the ethereal realms it's organized before your actual birth and there are going to be specific instances where your soul remembers why and what it's here to do now I'm gonna there's a caveat to this because the three-dimensional ego mind and your higher self that res, is residing you know in the fifth dimension sixth seventh wherever it is that your higher self is currently placed um, knows it knows but your ego and your human self your three-dimensional self may be kind of still or maybe somewhat unaware or you you may find that your divine counterpart depending on how they are expressing masculine feminine might be completely unaware as well and again you've got to let that go right because this is a process of growth this is a process of ridding your half or your being of all and any distortions that exist and as long as you can really focus on the fact that you need to look at your own distortions then you're on the right path and everything is going well the other thing too is that sometimes um, because of course we incarnate on so many incarnate into so many different lifetimes and so many different forms so whether it's you know the animal kingdom different planetary systems that we're always incarnating in different places for the growth of our souls so oftentimes as well your your divine counterpart or your twin flame will not incarnate in the same lifetime as you one stays back on the other side and is essentially a spirit guide they're helping you through your journey but again you'll know um you you won't have any anxiety if your twin is not incarnated in this lifetime you'll know that that's what you guys decided and it's fine it's okay you will still run into other soulmates that will be a beautiful expression within the current lifetime so don't panic you know in knowing this aspect of it 